Welcome to Machine Learning 101. This series of short videos will help you understand the basics of data science. In part one, we'll focus on predictive analytics, which is the process of training computers with historical data so they can make accurate predictions. The historical data, what we call training data, must be an accurate record of things that have happened in the past. For a predictive model to work, we need training data that includes outcomes like the ones we want our computers to make predictions about using new data. We will use our training data to build machine learning algorithms. Data scientists can write code in Python or R to develop machine learning algorithms, or they can use a visual tool like Altair Knowledge Studio. Let's look at a real world example of how machine learning techniques helped an organization improve its effectiveness. Moneyball is a movie based on Michael Lewis's best-selling book called Moneyball, The Art of Winning an Unfair Game. They tell the story of how the Oakland A's baseball team used these concepts to achieve better results. It's always critical to ask the right questions when faced with any data science use case. And the first question is always, what are you trying to predict? In Moneyball, team management was focused on getting to the playoffs. They wanted to predict the mix of players they would need to achieve that goal. The next question is always, do you have sufficient data? Without an accurate set of historical data, you cannot build a useful machine learning model. The Oakland A's used 40 years of baseball statistics for their training data. The training data included detailed records for every player in the league and notes the teams that made it to the playoffs. Whether a team made it to the playoffs or not is what we call our dependent variable. The dependent variable is the target of the model and what we want to predict. The Oakland A's management then had to identify the variables with the highest predictive power regarding whether a team would make it to the playoffs. The other variables include factors like runs scored, number of wins, on-base percentage for players, and many more. We call these independent variables. Teams had traditionally focused on factors like batting average and speed to select players. But the A's used machine learning techniques to discover that on-base and slugging percentages were the variables with the highest predictive power. After losing their 2001 season, the A's began recruiting new players who could get on base and had low salaries. It worked. The A's went to the playoffs in 2002 and 2003 as a result of using these methods, and they've continued to do well. The basic lesson is, the Oakland A's succeeded by gathering a good set of training data and using machine learning algorithms to discover the variables with the highest predictive power. Then they recruited players who had the best records for those variables and low salaries. Next in our series, supervised and unsupervised learning. 